Hiya, hiya. Welcome to Joey Reynolds' Garden of Foolishness. Here I am doing my narrow cast because nobody broadcasts anymore. I think I'm uh, getting pretty popular though. I'm up to about five hits every time I put something on Facebook. Must be about, uh, I guess, at least a dozen viewers. It, it's There's a lot of money in this. <laughs> I, I, I get so confused. There's so much media it's too much, you know, we've got too many things going on now. There's 600 channels that have the same thing, or it's all about the ele elections. I almost said erections. Same thing. Uh, this is just all foreplay. That's all it is. I mean, you got Trump and Hillary, and how many, how many stories are we going to have? This is like O.J. Simpson. Remember we had that whole year of this guy who committed a double homicide, and we made a soap opera out of it, and all we did was watch television every day. And because he was uh, so entertaining, and we were so highly amused, uh, we let him off on the charges that he was guilty of, I guess. That's the way I look at it. I mean, I have a different kind of view than most people, because uh, I'm inside the media, and I'm looking out at you guys. And I'm wondering how you buy all this foolishness. But that's how we sell products, you know? I mean, uh, there's 15 car commercials every intermission. How many cars are you gonna own? You're gonna have one for each leg, each, each thought, each family member? <laughs> it's amazing. How can we sell all these products? <laughs> and the pharmaceuticals, you know, we've been through this before on my Reynolds wraps. But most likely I'm confused anyway. I, I thought yesterday that Donald Trump was uh, up for sainthood. Isn't that, what, weren't they gonna canonize him? And Mother Teresa has been preaching at a black church. Did I get that mixed up? Oh, probably I did. Uh, yeah, Saint, Saint Trump. <laughs> he read his sincerity. <laughs> but you know, this whole thing with uh, Hillary Clinton getting the truth out of her, it's like pulling teeth. <laughs> well, the tooth fairy is going to visit her one night. <laughs> That's going to be all over. Well, she's liberal, so a fairy will do real well with her. Hey, this is the way it is. We are, we are caught up in, in all this crap. And uh, that's why I'm going to WKRP. That's my next station I'm going to be on. W crap. Actually, I'm going to be on CBS without the C. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going back on the air, you know, radio, television, internet. I've been working on my triple cast for a few years. And uh, you'll be able to get me on the dashboard. you get me on your toaster. You'll get me on your shoe if you're Don Smart. And if you're that old to know who that is, uh, get smart. It was a TV show. I don't want to explain all this. I, can't, I don't have time to give you history lessons. You had to be there. This is the original you had to be there joke. But I'm going to be on the air and every day you're going to be able to access me. But I'm only going to do the show once a week. So you're going to get the reruns before the show's a hit. <laughs> That's a concept. <laughs> but we're used to paying for everything now. So it's all subscription based. Even when you get the car radio through the internet, you're paying for a phone, which is costing you money. Nobody's getting anything free anymore. The only thing that's free is uh, your, your opinions, and boy, who cares? <laughs> but I'm going to call my show uh, The Comedy and Conscience from the Home for the Relatively Unimportant. And I want you to uh, be able to look for it every Sunday night, East Coast time, 9 o'clock, West Coast time, 6 p.m. Uh, you'll get me live on iHeart and on KABC. How about that? Okay, that's it. Now you know the truth. Let a smile be your umbrella, but don't get a mouthful of rain. And don't tell the truth too much, they'll kill you.